Hey, what's up guys? So, it's Pete here, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up version 3.0 of this new monitor, because there's been a lot of questions, and I've been pretty vague in terms of explanation of how to set it up for kind of the less technically inclined people that haven't been able to set it up, but we're going to be showing you how to set it up and how easy it could be. So, this is it. You know, these are a couple screenshots. You can check the uh, GitHub. But uh, today we're going to be using, we're going to be installing two things. One being my favorite command line tool, or command line interface, or console emulator. That's exactly what it's called. CMD, -er. I use it all the time. It's way better, in my opinion, and it's easier to get the job done. Especially since I'm a huge Linux and Mac OS user, it kind of brings all that stuff. For me on Windows, it makes it easier. Um... So once you do so, I mean, we can follow the instructions right here from the setup. But uh, first of all, I mean, a lot of people have questions about CD and CD directory. So we're going to open up CND here and just let that open up. I don't want to download these. And um, I'm just going to CD into my desktop where I want the folder of the monitor to be just for tutorial purposes. And it's something easy for a lot of you guys to access if you see it on your desktop, but you kind of... If you understand the point of changing directories, it'll make sense to you. And we're going to copy and paste this first, uh, this first command um, and uh, let it clone. And then we're going to CD into that. So CD Shopify monitor. And then we're going to type in npm install. And then when we type in npm install, it's going to install all the essential dependencies that we're going to need. So while that's doing that, you want to download MongoDB on your Windows machine. I'm going to provide this link, and a lot of people have been getting confused, so I'm going to explain to you how to set this up. When you're on this page, click Community Server. Do not click Atlas or anything else. When you click Community Server, select Windows, and there's only one version, but just make sure it's the version that supports your computer if there ends up being multiple versions, and install this MSI. Um, and then once you do so, um, from there, you're going to want to set up a couple things to make uh, MongoDB uh, run a MongoDB server. I'm going to explain to you what you have to do in order to uh, create a proper Mongo server on your machine and run it in the background. Um, it's very similar to the whole setup on, um, on uh, my bad on Mac OS, but I'll definitely make a another tutorial explaining on how to do it on Mac OS. So from there, once you have MongoDB installed, the first thing you want to do is open up your Windows Explorer and then go into this PC. And most likely your uh your main disk will be local disk C. And uh once you go in there and you have Mongo installed, you just double click in here. And what we're going to do first inside this directory, my bad, is we're going to make a folder called data. So you can right click, make a folder, call it data. I already have one, so there's no point of doing that. And once you make a folder called data inside that folder, we're going to make a folder called DB. I already made one, so there's no point of doing that. Once you do that, you're almost set to go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, whoopsie, we're going to uh, make another window. So I'm just going to right here, click, right click here, click new, uh, new tab. I'm just going to do the right so you can see what's going on. And uh, we're going to type in CD space, and then we're going to go back into, I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. We're going to go into this PC again, local di local disk C, program files, and we're going to go into MongoDB right here. We're going to click server. I'm on version 3.6, so you're definitely going to see the version that you installed, and there's probably going to be one folder. Likewise, if you've never installed Mongo before, we're going to click 3.6, and we're going to click bin. And then when we click bin, um, oh, actually... Sorry about that. We're going to go back, and when we CD, we're going to drag and drop this bin folder and hit enter. Then we're inside the directory of our MongoDB uh, directory, 
And what we're going to do is we're going to type in Mongo D. And like that, you have a running MongoDB server. And one thing that might confuse people is what support of their MongoDB server, where is it being ran, yada, yada, yada. So to help you see what's going down here, most likely all the way at the bottom, you're going to see waiting for a connection on port 27017. This is the default MongoDB port, and I have that set up in the monitor. So we're going to open up Atom. This is, you can open up any text editor of your choice, and I'm just going to let that open. I'm going to do a couple things. We're going to configure our, our monitor. There's two basic things that we want to set up. A server port, which is completely optional on what you want to set. The default port we have on the monitor is 3000. So we're going to right click. Um, well, actually, what I'm going to do, yeah, we're going to right click, and we're going to rename it to config.json. Once we do so, you can make the port 3000, you can make it 8080, you can make it anything you want. I'm just going to leave it as 3000. And here, as I said, this is the MongoDB port we were looking for right here, 27017. And by default in the config, you're already going to have that there. So we're just going to, we're going to run with this setup. This is the most basic way to set it up. And it's the most effective way, it's so you don't really have to go through the hassle of running through different commands if you want to run on a different port. If you want to do so, it's pretty easy. You can Google it. And once we have a config.json file together, all we simply have to do is go on into uh, back in our command line. And in our Shopify monitor folder, we're just going to type in node server. And then there, as you can see right here to the right, it established a connection. And we're going to go into our... Uh, browser, and as you can see, app is running at 127.00.0.01.3000, which is equivalent to localhost 3000. And right here, we have our monitor. Um, so I'm going to add one of my favorite brands, um, which is Dirtbag. Oops, Dirtbag right here bag us and we're simply um, we can go underneath stores and we can hit add store and I'm just gonna copy that link and for the interval I'm just gonna set it to 30 seconds so um, this is a millisecond so that would be equivalent to three zero 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 which is thirty thousand that's uh, thirty seconds and here you can add proxies if you want and keywords. I'm not going to add them because I don't feel like it and I don't need to. So there. Add store. Refresh. There you go. We have our store and you can add multiple ones. And then here you can also set up your Discord webhook. Um, that's pretty easy to set up. Um, I can give, show you an example. So we can go underneath monitor like a channel like this. And it, um, if you click on the channel and your options, you can click on webhooks. And, uh, oh yeah, streamer mode is enabled. Let me just uh, turn that off. And uh, we can uh, create a sh uh, webhook and uh, call it tutorial. Tutorial. And uh, we can just copy the link to the webhook. Hit save right click here, hit save changes, and if we want to test our webhook, we can simply hit test webhook, and if you go into the discord, there you go, that's our, that's if you want to see if your webhook works, and there, so, um, then you want to enable discord if you're using discord, I gotta add slack support, but it, it's pretty self-explanatory, and if you guys need help or, or a tutorial to be made, then we'll do so, so we'll hit save changes, and we can start a monitor by going to this home page, hitting start, and then voila, there you go. This is how to set up the new Shopify monitor. And if you want to see the logs of what's going on, it pretty much does a initial check to see what's going on in the store. So it can store it in the database. And yeah, that's how to set up the new version of Shopify monitor. Hopefully this is the most simple and extensive way to set it up. 
And if you go back in the CMD, -er, this is the best way to set it up, having one panel just with your MongoDB server and the other, um, the other uh, with running your Shopify monitor. So um, that's all for today, and uh, thanks for watching. Also, thank you for 1,000 subscribers on this channel. It means a ton to me, and I definitely plan on doing more things and starting a series on how to actually make things of this nature, bots, scripts, or whatnot. So that's going to be awesome. Hopefully when I have the time during break, I'll do so. I've been so busy getting ready to do my SATs and um, just do a lot of school stuff right now. So I'm just going to make sure I get that done so I can balance my time out. But thanks for watching again, and peace.